Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my monthly tier list of movies of all 18 20, uh, June 2022 movies I saw ranked in a tier list. And let's get straight into it. And starting off with Beavis and Butthead Do the Universe. I did watch this movie and I think it was a good movie. I did really enjoy this movie, I think it was very funny. And yeah, just a fun, entertain, entertaining movie, uh, I think. It was, yeah, just definitely check it out if you have not seen it. It was really fun, really enjoyable. I had a blast. I think the cast did really well uh, in this movie. And I really, I think the animation looked quite good uh, with this movie. But, you know, really fun movie. And I think it was a good movie. Next up. Cha Cha Real Smooth. I'm going on the great tier for me. I think this was a great movie. If you have, if you have not seen it, definitely check this movie out. It is such a great movie. Uh, I really enjoyed my time with it. And yeah, I think it just knocked it out of the park for me because I had not, not much expectations for this movie, but. Damn, it just proved me wrong on how good this movie was. Because it was so good. I just really enjoyed my time with it. It was really fun. I think the whole cast did really well. I think the plot was really done well. Uh, really well. I think the direction was well done. Uh, and yeah, it was just a really fun and entertaining movie that I had a blast with. And yeah, I think they did really well with it. I think Cooper Rafe did fantastic in this uh, movie. I think Dakota Johnson was fantastic, and I forgot who the uh, little girl was, but she did fantastic. The um, Yeah, I think she did fantastic. Uh, next up, Crimes of the Future. Dave, is it David Cronenberg? Is that who directed it? I'm pretty sure. Uh, for me, I'm putting on the meh tier. It was a meh movie for me. It wasn't like anything great. Uh, I think it did have a great cast for the movie, but it just was like, yeah, it was, bleh. it was, nah, just not for me really. Um, I was looking forward to this movie. I think it looked really interesting, uh, but the movie just, pff, yeah, just pff, not good, not good. Uh, probably not gonna watch this movie again. Maybe no, um, but. Hopefully, I don't have to. I think that, but I like the cast. I really like the cast. Uh, and, the, and the director. But the movie just did not work. Next up, Elvis. I'm putting it on the great tier for me. I think this is a great movie. Near awesome for me. Um, but yeah, this movie was just... Oh, so good. Austin Butler as the role of uh, Elvis Presley was great. Uh, the whole cast, well, Baz Luhrmann as uh, the director, I think he kills it. But Tom Hanks as Colonel Tom Parker was fantastic. The movie was just so good. Even though it does have a few problems with this movie, I still really enjoyed my time with it. it, it yeah, Austin Butler was definitely deserving to have a Oscar nomination for Best Actor, in my opinion. Because uh, I think he nailed it. Uh, and yeah. Next up. We have. Father of the Bride. Now I'm putting this on the. Meh tier as well. This is another meh movie for me. Um, yeah it was just. Meh. I didn't really enjoy my time with it. I don't think it really you know. Proved me to say this movie is going to be amazing. It just, yeah, I, it's like a sequel prequel of the original Father of the Bride. I'm not completely sure, but yeah, this movie, this movie was just a mess, a uh, mess for me. It didn't work. The cast, I have to say, the cast was good. The cast was good. I think they did a good job. The direction, I think it was good. The movie's plot. Not really my cup of tea, but the movie was just meh for me. It wasn't like in the top tier or anything uh, yet, but yeah. Next up, we have 
Good luck, Leo Grande. Or Grand, what do you... Is that you say? Not sure. I'm putting this on the good tier. I think, I think this was a good movie. Um, I know some people think it was a very good movie or a great movie. I just think it was a good movie. Uh, I didn't really have, like, any, you know? Not really, like, oh my god, this movie's gonna be amazing. Um, I didn't really have any expectations for this movie. Didn't really know what this movie was. Um, uh, but especially this woman, uh, played by Emma Thompson. I'm just gonna read the plot. How about that? Uh, good luck, Leo. So it's basically a retired widow, Nancy Stokes, hires a good-looking young sex worker called Leo Grand in hope of enjoying a night of pleasure and self-discovery after an unfulfilling married life. Yeah, that's basically what the movie was. I think it was good. It was enjoyable. Uh, but, you know, it does have a few problems. But I still really enjoyed the movie. Next up, we have Hustle. Uh, this is going on the great tour as well. There are a lot of great movies this year. Well, there's three. But, um, yeah, this was a great movie. I really enjoyed my time with it. I think Adam Sandler knocks it out of the park in this performance. The actor who I'm blanking on his name. Who is, uh, the, 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 what's his name? What's his name? Uh, Juncho Hernan Gomez. Is that how you pronounce it? I think he bled and knocks it out of the park. Uh, he was bloody good in this movie. Uh, and yeah, overall the movie was just really good, and I enjoyed my time with this movie. But you know, really enjoyable movie, I had a blast with it. And yeah, Adam Sandler, like I said, knocked it out of the park. If you love basketball drama movies, this definitely will be for you. This movie does have a, a few minor problems, uh, but I can, I'm not brushing over, but like I can, yeah, uh, can't even speak. Uh, yeah, so let's just continue. Uh, next up, we have Interceptor. Uh, this is going on a bad tier for me. This was not a good movie. Um, did I have any expectations for this movie? More hype? No. I knew it was going to be bad. Because uh, the trailers just looked not good. Like, the trailers I was not really you know, going, like, looking and going, wow, well, that looks really good. No, it just looked not. It, it, God, can I not speak? Uh, it just looked not good. Um, yeah, it just it was bad. Um, yeah. Sorry, Chris Hemsworth's wife, but it could have been a bit better uh, in the role. But you know, the movie overall, it was meh. No, I wasn't meh. It was bad. Uh, anyway, uh, what is next? We have Jerry and, La uh, Jerry and Marge go large. And I'm putting this on the good tier. So it's basically like this old couple and this guy called Jerry basically knows the secret ways of winning the lotto. And they basically have to like verse against like this bloody uh, Harvard kid who knows it as well. And yeah, basically that. Um, the movie overall, I think it was a fun time. I did enjoy this movie. Um, Brian Cranston's in this movie, if you didn't know. I think he did really well in this movie. And yeah, it was just a fun, entertaining movie that I enjoyed. I had a blast with. Yeah, that's all I can say. It was a fun time. Fun movie. I enjoyed it. Jerry and Marge go large. It's going on the good tier for me. Next up, we have... Jurassic World Dominion. Now, I'm going to be putting this, for me, on the meh tier. This is a meh movie for me. Unfortunately, I was really, really looking forward to this movie. Like, I was really excited for this film. But it dropped for me. It was, it was just not good. Well, it was, it was meh. Nearly bad for me. Nearly. But... Yeah, it's just really disappointing. Like, I was really looking forward to this movie, but it just was... Yeah, it just wasn't good. Well, it was... It was okay. No, it was meh. It's more on the bad side than on the good side for me. Um, but, you know, it's a meh movie. I, do I recommend it? If you like Jurassic called, come on, just watch it. I mean, you probably have already watched it. Um, there's not really much character development to the main core characters. Uh... And yeah, 
Next up, we have the light here. Uh, for me, I'm putting this on the great chair as well. I think it's a great movie. Uh, I love Chris Hemsworth as the role as Buzz Lightyear. I think he did really well uh, with this performance. The movie overall, really entertaining, really enjoyable. I had a blast with it. And I'm excited to rewatch it because it was just a fun time. And yeah, uh, I know some people were a bit skeptical with this movie because of we didn't know how Chris Hemsworth is going to go playing Buzz Lightyear because, like, Tim Allen was our Buzz Lightyear, but um, yeah, I think Chris, uh, Chris Evans did really well. Same with the rest of the cast. The animation looks really good. It looked really good, and yeah, it was a really good movie. Uh, but you know, definitely check it out if you have not seen it. Next up for me, um, my fake boyfriend. I'm putting this on the meh tier for me. Uh, was this movie just um like a pride movie because it was June? I don't know. But it's basically like this guy who's trying to find this man, like I don't know what this movie was. It wasn't it like something about like hold up. I'm gonna find this out. My I totally forgot this movie was about because I watched it a while ago. Um, it was basically Andrew has a major problem. He can't stay away from the toxic boyfriend who just dumped him. His mending uh, friends decide to help him by creating Christina, a perfect fake boyfriend, on social media. So that's what the movie is about. Uh, it's meh. It wasn't anything great or awesome for me. It was just meh. Did I enjoy it? Kind of, not really, but it was okay. That was mad, probably. And next up, we have Rise. Now, Rise is going on the good tier. Uh, this movie, if you don't know, is about... It's basically, uh, after immigrating from Nigeria to Greece, the... Uh, Andrew Kopinos struggles to care for their five children. The brothers play basketball with the local team and discover their great abilities on the court. I think this was a biopic, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, I'm going to check. Uh, but overall, the movie, really enjoyable. I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, it's a very good movie and yeah, definitely deserved, uh, definitely deserving of your time. Next up, we have Spiderhead. Now, this again is going on the good tier. I really enjoyed Spiderhead. Um, I think this was a very good movie. Um, I was probably the only person that thought it was a very good movie. I don't know. Because uh, it got a 41% on Rotten Tomatoes. Come on. Anyway, so it's basically the plot is two uh, inmates form a connection with grappling with their past in a state of art, a penitentiary run by the brilliant visionary who. Experiments on his subjects with mind-altering drugs. Yes. And it has a great cast. Miles Teller and Chris Hemsworth. Great cast. Really enjoyed this movie. It was a fun time. I mean, yeah, I just really enjoyed this film. It was really enjoyable. Um, the runtime did kind of hit me. Because how long was this movie? Oh, now I'm 47. God, I thought it was like two hours. Uh, well, yeah, the runtime kind of hit me. I felt like it was a very long movie. It was only like an hour and 47 minutes. Uh, but you know, it was still a really entertaining, fun movie that I enjoyed. Next up, The Black Phone. Going on the great tier for me. Um, if you don't know what The Black Phone is about, I'm just going to read you what The Black Phone is about. So it's basically, Finney Shaw is a shy but clever 13-year-old boy who is being held in a soundproof basement by a sadistic mask killer. With a, dis a disconnected phone on the wall uh, starts to ring. He soon discovers that he can hear the voices of the murderer's previous victims. Uh, and they are dead set uh, on making sure that what happened to them doesn't happen to Finney. Uh, yeah. It was a great movie. I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, am I surprised that it's this good? No. I knew it was going to be really good. Because uh, the trailers really looked really good. Uh, but you know, this movie was great.
Next up, the Bob's. And next up, the Bob's Burgers movie. Uh, I'm going to be putting this on the OK tier for me. Austin, this was an OK movie. Um, it wasn't anything amazing, but it was good. And it was OK. It was near good for me. And there were some problems with the Bob's Burgers movie. Or if you don't know what the Bob's Burgers movie is about. Uh, well, it's basically like, there's like a ruptured water main, and it creates an enormous sinkhole in front of the Bob's Burgers uh, entrance. Uh, so, yeah, so, the, so Bob and Linda struggle to keep the business afloat, and the kids try and uh, solve a mystery that could save their family's restaurant. Yeah, that's an okay movie. I wouldn't say it's anything great, but it's okay. Next up, The Man from Toronto. Now, this is going on the meh tier for me. Now, this movie is meh for me. I was looking forward to this film, but it was meh. It was just a disappointing movie for me. Um, but yeah, I was, I was looking forward to this movie. Um, but it just proved me wrong. Um, if you don't know what this movie is, it's basically the plot follows a New York City screw-up named Teddy who was mistaken for the man from Toronto when the two wind up in the same Airbnb uh, antics ensued. Yeah. It's a meh movie. Could have been better, uh, but unfortunately it wasn't. And lastly, Top Gun Maverick, which of course is going on the awesome tier for me. Now, Top Gun Maverick was an awesome movie. If you have not seen this movie, check it out. This is awesome. I loved my time with Top Gun Maverick. It was such a fun, entertaining, enjoyable, great movie that I just enjoyed. Tom Cruise nails it in this movie. Well, the whole cast nail it. Miles Teller was a huge surprising character in this movie for me. But, you know, this movie definitely deserving to be on the awesome tier for me. It is something that I enjoyed the hell out of. Uh, and, yeah, if you have not seen it, definitely check it out. Must watch for me. Um, and, yeah, an awesome movie, you know awesome movie. Now on to the ranking. Last place is of course Interceptor followed by, if I get it, uh, the bottom of the map is Crimes of the Future followed by My Fake Boyfriend then uh, The Man from Toronto then Jurassic World Dominion. And on the top of the map tier is Father of Pride. On the only, the only movie on the OK tier is Bob's Burgers movie. Now under the good tier, uh, we have Good Luck to You, Leo Grand, and Last Place. Um, then Jerry and Marge go large. And Beavis and Butthead rule the world or something like that. Uh, what is it called? Even but he do the universe. Uh, then it goes rise in the top of the good tier. Spider head none to the great tier. Uh, is the bottom is light tier, followed by the black phone. Then hustle. Then cha cha real smooth. Then the top of the great tier is Elvis. And my favorite V of June was Top Gun Maverick. Now I'm gonna re re say my ranking. 18, Interceptor. 17, Crimes of the Future. 16, My Fake Boyfriend. 15, The Man from Toronto. 14, Jurassic World Dominion. 13, Father of the Bride. 12, The Bob's Burgers Movie. 11, Good Luck to You, Leo Grand. 10, Jury and Marjo Large. 9, Beavis and Butthead Do the Universe. 8, Is Rise. 7 is Spider Head, 6 is Lightyear, 5 is the Black Phone, 4 is Hustle, 3 is Cha Cha Real Smooth, 2 is Elvis, 
and one as Top Gun Maverick. Thank you for watching my video. For all June 2022 movies I saw ranked in a tier list, um, like this video, share the video, turn on the post notification bell so you never miss video, like the video, comment down below what are your top 10, top 20, well, how, how many movies you've watched this uh, month, put them down, rank them. Uh, videos will be on the screen right there. Icon in the middle, click on it, subscribe, you miss, help the comment link below as my podcast. A new video is out. And thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.